has entered the shallow walls of the Hall of Shame this week? Who has been crowned the captain of coonery this week? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is time for Wankster of the Week. Where is that job? Here we go. Now, before I get into the Wankster of the Week, I just want to let you guys know that it is November, which means it is, you know, that time where it's closing out the year, which means that we have to get ready for yet another annual cool radio year and special where I will get a special assortment of panelists and we'll talk about the best albums of the year, the uh, the best singles of the year, and of course, the top wanksters of the year. So make sure you tune into my, my Facebook profile and I'll give you like all the details about that. But nonetheless, for tonight, yeah. the wankster of the week. Wankster of the week. Goes to none other than Lil Wayne. Wheezy. Now, for this one in particular, I'm gonna call it now. This is probably the wankster of the year. This is probably it. It took all the way for November for us to get to this point, but I'm calling it now. Uh, he will be the wankster of the year. Now, for those of you guys who have been tuned out of pop culture or hip hop or whatever, you're probably asking yourselves, why is Lil Wayne the wankster of the week? I will tell you why. In an interview with ABC that aired this past week, he was asked about the Black Lives Matter movement. And he was quoted as saying as, what is that? He doesn't know what it is. And then he continued on to say that his life is the only life that matters, and his life matters to him and his bitches, quote unquote. He also stated that he is tuned out to whatever happens outside of his world, and that he's never heard of Black Lives Matter before, and that the cameraman who's pointing the camera at him says that his life matters or something like that. He, he sounded like he was on something. I don't know what he was on, but I'm not even going to let drugs be the excuse, all right? Now, there are people out there saying, well, well, Lil Wayne is so detached from the outside world, or he's just this pop icon figure. He only focuses on his music and what he does. People are going to say that. Sure, I get that. But here's the thing about Lil Wayne. This is not the first time that Lil Wayne has A, been asked about some politically, politically charged topics. However, Lil Wayne has also done songs about politically charged themes that have happened within the black community in particular. For example, we just played you Georgia Bush, a freestyle that he did about the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina and how George Bush was responsible for not getting a relief effort to get there in time to help out the uh, natives of New Orleans. Talked about how he, uh, the, the police officers in New Orleans don't care about black people. And he said that in other songs as well. He said that in um, in Hollywood Divorce from Outkast. And he said that in a few other freestyles as well that he's done in the past. And most recently, he also did a concert a few months ago. And he actually got the entire crowd to chant out, and I quote, Black Lives Matter. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, not only does he know about Black Lives Matter and the entire movement and what it represents, but he is consciously aware of what happens within the black community. And you would figure that someone from New Orleans, a predominantly black area within the United States, if I'm not mistaken, you are correct. has come into contact with a lot of issues that matter within the black community. He talks about how he's from Holly Grove, he's from 8th Ward, and all these poverty stricken places that have a lot of black people in them, that have a lot of police officers not caring about their well-being and the government in general. You would think that he would be a lot more aware about questions like these that are being asked to him as far as race and Black Lives Matter and things of that nature. Now Lil, Lil Wayne is looking like a little coon, basically. So you mean to tell me, Lil Wayne, that you yourself have not experienced racism, yet you ignore the fact that I'm sure a lot of your fans have probably experienced racism, one. And two, do you think that without the money and the women and the chains and the fame, that you looking like the way you do, five foot nothing, with nasty dreadlocks that you haven't seen shampoo in 500 weeks, with tattoos all over your face and jewelry all over your mouth, and the way you talk and your diction and your annotation, do you think for a second that you yourself wouldn't even at least be carded by police officers wherever you walk? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not about to give this man the excuse of the day saying he's so detached from reality. Listen, that's BS, all right? He may be subconsciously detached from reality because of all the drugs that he's taken, but that doesn't give him an excuse to be ignorant. And he knows that, which is the reason why he A, apologized to people after that interview got out, 
B, got mad at ABC for airing the interview, and C, fired his publicist. This guy just committed career suicide as far as, you know, selling music to his black fans are concerned. White people will still probably buy his album, and that's fine, whatever, cool, to each his own. You can separate the artist from the person. But at the end of the day, in this situation, it's very hard to kind of consider yourself to be a little white fan when he doesn't basically care about your life. Because he basically just said, my life matters. So you do what you want with that. But at the end of the day, I am not giving this man a pass. I am giving him a W, and the W stands for Wangster. Does he deserve this Wangster? Of course he does. I'm gonna drop it on him one more time, just like this. <sighs>